So a quick Sunday afternoon job here in my 72144S. Um, I picked up um, this electronic ignition conversion uh, this past week. A very, very slick system. I've used, I've bought one previously and put it in a different car of mine. Uh, but really nice in that you simply take out the points and you screw that in the place of the points, connect that to the coil, and you put this little magnetic pickup around the shaft of the distributor. Uh, under the rotor and then obviously as that rotates it picks up the spark there and it's and everything resides inside here and the really nice thing is that obviously you can just uh, you can put your points in the cubby if this ever fails you just uh, unscrew it and plug the points back in so yeah, it's a job i'm going to tackle here um, today very very simple in theory if it's the right thing uh, simply pull off the cap and of the distributor uh, unbolt the or unscrew the points and uh, replace it with that and connect it to the coil there. Okay, so here you can see I've, I've pulled off the distributor cap. I'm now going to loosen the points over there, the screw securing them and replace it. And hopefully the thing just slots straight in. So the kit comes with these base plates. You can see I'm just busy screwing the the one in there that's going to then locate the um, the actual electronic ignition pickup. So it also comes with this, these little connectors, these little spade connectors that obviously go onto the end of that to connect to the coil. Um, and then those two little nuts that will hold um, the pickup to the base plate that I've screwed in there. I've used the original, um, let me just try and get into focus, the original screw that, focus, that uh, screws down the, uh, the old points here, uh, over there. But I see there's a flatter one that's come in this bag there, so I'm going to use that instead. Okay, so I've just replaced the, bait, the screw on the base, base plate with the, uh, the one that came in the package, nice and flat now. And you can see that basically what's going to happen is that this, okay, this little electronic pickup, the next is just going to clip over there like that, okay, and we're going to run it through there. So I need to pull off, the next step here is to, I don't know if you can see this distributor caps in the way, but... My next step is to pull off the condenser and that wire over there and then route this through that hole um, and obviously secure this using those two little uh, nuts that came, these two over here, uh, secure the electronic pickup onto that. And then obviously that works with the vacuum advance as well. So as the vacuum advance comes, it slips that around uh, to advance the retard. In this particular car, the vacuum advance is actually disconnected. And it runs beautifully now that I've got the timing right. So I'm not going to fiddle too much with that. I'm not worried about that. My next step is to get that condenser out, and uh, which I'll keep aside as well in the cubby with the points. And uh, feed that wire through and get it through to the coil here. Uh, obviously, always disconnect the positive of the battery as well when you're working on uh, ignition, ignition systems. Okay, now obviously on the coil, you just uh, to get rid of the condenser rather. Um, there's that little screw over there to get the focus right so i'm going to loosen that and that'll pull that whole thing off okay so you can see i've taken the condenser off and obviously that's just connected to the point to the to the coil there so i'll pull that off uh off the negative of the coil and this then i'll keep together with it securing screw with the points in the cubby in case that ever fails so in case the new system ever fails it's very easy next to the side of the road just to revert to that and you're back on your way um, so it's a very nice, very, very nice solution. So you can see it's sitting there. I'm going to do the routing now and then I'll carry on with the video. Okay, so now you can see that I've, um, I've put the electronic pickup uh, in position. I'm just going to fasten those two there. Uh, put these little nuts on over there and there. I've fed the wire through, ready to get attached to the coil up here. The next step, I'm just going to fasten those two. Okay, so that's all fastened up now. Those two, those two nuts securing this. Uh, put a bit of lubrication in there as well. Um, I found the one, the positive wire was a little bit too short, so I have extended it a bit. We'll neaten that up later. Uh, the next job is to put this little magnetic pickup over there, and that should just slide over, move into place. There we go. And you can see it actually locks into place where, there we go, runs like that. of a gap there obviously uh, next step is the rotor just grab that quickly 
and I've got that, so better go there, I would think, let's see, is that in the right position, yes it is, there we go, okay, so that's on, uh, next step, uh, put on the distributor cap, reconnect the battery and it should fire up, so we put on that cap and then I'll carry on with the video. Okay, so it looks like the job is done. I've put on the distributor cap. Uh, just confirm the wires are going to the right parts here. So red to the positive, black to the negative. I've reconnected the battery. I haven't moved these tools yet, but I'll do that now. Let's just see if it fires up. I'll go around here. Let's have a look. Theory should just fire up. No adjustment needed there, uh, but let's give it a try. Ignition on, yep, and there we go, fire straight up. That is how you re replace the points with the uh, electronic ignition. Very nice system. Everything resides inside the um, inside the distributor cap. And I'll certainly, if, if you're interested in doing it, uh, just get in contact with me. I'll leave my number in the description and I'll hook you up with the guy that I bought it from. And, um, and the beauty is that you've got all the advantages of electronic ignition. Um, and you have the ability to revert next to the side of the road to points if need be. Um, and I'll take it for a drive a bit later, but I'm sure experience has shown me that I never have any issues with these. Obviously the car's ice cold, so you know there's no choke or anything, fired straight up. Seems to be running nicely. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye on this channel. I'm gonna be doing a video on using this car daily. I've put it into daily use, my 52 year old Volvo. And it's running absolutely beautifully. I've done a lot of work on it. And um, I'll be doing a video where I'll be doing road tests and just speaking through uh, what it's like to use a 52-year-old car on a daily basis.